Hi everyone. This is Christy with Crafted by Christy. I wanted to show you my newest journal. I think, <laughs> shoot, all I can think of when I look at it is a fruit chew. It just reminds me of fruit chews and tropical. Even though I don't know why it reminds me of tropical because there's really no, maybe the flowers. I don't know. But anyway, here is the finished product. And I have to say, I, I couldn't get finished. I had so many things I still wanted to put in it. And look how thick it is. So I made this little bag, which I'll talk to you about in just a minute. But here is the tassel. It has all colors in it. Beads. It has yellow and orange and red. Might be able to see that pretty good. I, I didn't have any lace that was colored like this, so I dyed it with, um, I don't know what you'd call it. I took old markers and pulled the filling out, the filter, and put it in um, alcohol, and then I just dropped it on this white lace and I just thought it turned out so pretty. I just love how the red bled into the other colors. I just really liked it. The binding is a five pamphlet stitch this time because it's so big and heavy. I thought I better do something a little stronger. So I used both red and orange um, thread. It's what would you call it? embroidery thread but it's slick it's almost it's not waxed I don't it's not wax thread but it's kind of slick like that and you know when you're trying a new stitch the best thing to do is see how many threads you can use that will come apart and yeah it wasn't my best move but it turned out so pretty I like how it looks on the back and they're really slick they almost feel like satin so the tassel is hooked on with a, I don't know, are these called like a paper clip or, you know, like a binder clip. So it can be removed and this can be removed from the binder clip. I don't know. I'm sure you already know. You can just pinch these legs together and it'll come off and you could even take this apart and use these in the journal if you wanted to. It's a lot of um, ribbon, lace, thread, some, um, what is that, paracord, a lot of beads on here. So you can do a lot of things with just the tassel um, if you want to keep it, keep it on or you know, or put it on a different journal. I like that it's removable and that it comes apart. So if you want to add more lace or trims to it. So I have two signatures in this and each signature has, let's see, 68 pages. So it has 136 pages total. On top of it, you can see lots coming out. And the side, you can see all the embellishments, little ephemera that's hooked on. And of course, I have the Crafted by Christy, but it's on there with a safety pin. So you can just take it off. I have the enclosure is two pieces that you can actually remove. If you don't like them or you want to put something else in the holes and I did put eyelets in there so they're they're strong um, you don't have to keep this lace if you don't want to use it like this but it's just easy to thread right back through on the front and back I have the this is uh, muslin but it's it's heavier than normal muslin and I put some sparkle, I don't know if it's lace or what this stuff is called, 
sewed around it, put a little embellishment with some eyelash trim. I was trying to think what this stuff is called. Netting? Like netting, I guess? I don't know. Anyway, here's the fun piece that we made. It's just for sound, but you can write on the back. Lots of sewing in this. And um, the Jibineri letter from the bookmaker, note from the book, bookmaker. It just basically tells what a junk journal is and the many ways you can use it, things you can do with it. Okay, so I'm probably not going to go through every piece that's in here. I'll just try to hit the highlights got the first sheet is vellum that's embossed I don't know if you can see it but I ink dyed it as well so it has some red yellow oranges in it probably see it pretty good right there next sheet is an embossed packing paper that I've sewed on a pretty water digital and inked around it Next page is lots of, like I said, lots of sewing. Another cluster pocket with sewing on it. Writing space. Here's a lot of writing space. It's a really pretty picture with tea dyed, or well, no, it's not tea dyed. It's, it's ink dyed with streamers. I took party streamers and um, ended up having to use some Easter egg coloring because the party streamers just didn't didn't bleed enough to give it good color. So this one kind of has pink and and yellow in it. So lots of writing space and like I say the beautiful picture of that door that I would love to know what's on the other side. A beautiful garden, I'm sure. Mm, and maybe like a, a water water fountain. I can hear it in my head. So, both signatures have one of these. The other one is a little bit smaller. Has different um, twine on it. And it has um, a different brad that's colored on it. more of the dyed paper with some paper ribbon and this is a hidden pocket I don't know if it's really hidden but it's a corner pocket you can write in here a little notepad a little writing space with some washi tape this is just a little postcard maybe that's where I got the fruit there is actually some fruit in here so, Fruity Dreams, I guess, would make sense. Very pretty picture. Love the flower, the, all the flowers in here. This is scrapbook paper with some, just a ribbon cluster. And this is part of our master board that I sewed to it. Some pieces are not glued in because, like I said, this is so thick. I wanted to make sure that if you wanted to take them off and put them in another journal or glue them down, you could do that. But this is just a pocket. See, I guess I do have more fruit in here than I thought I did. And it, um, watercolor tag. And on the next page, we just have some stenciling at the bottom, a flower card. And this one is a huge paper clip. I wanted to add two of these, one to the other signature, but it's so full and bulky. I didn't think that would be a very good idea. So I just used this one and some colorful clothespins that I, it's just a catalog page, but it's clothespins. And for whatever reason, you know, you don't have clothespins in school, but it reminded me of school, maybe just the colors. So I added some flashcards in that tuck. 
and there is writing space behind it as well. This is just a, a pretty that's attached to the belly band and our collaged uh, tissue paper. Just writing space. And then this is a hidden journaling spot on the belly band. Have some more stenciling. Live. Writing space. Says enjoy the little things. This is a color book page that has been ink dyed. And another little embellishment with um, a fabric and lace cluster. And I left lots of thread because I loved how it looked. But you can, you know, always cut them off. This is not glued. I just clipped it. Um, just some neat spades writing. It's on, you can't, I don't know if you can see it very good. But it has pink and yellow on the ink dyed paper. And then more writing space. I tried to leave a lot of lot writing space, even though I added a lot of pockets and a lot of things. This is a little curly Q flip up writing space with some stenciling, stenciling there. That might be a stamp. And I added a little card plate to write on. And this is the bookmark that I laminated. Not a big laminator, but I thought for a bookmark it might needed to be a little sturdier because it um, was just made out of well it was kind of heavy it was like cardstock but being brilliant I did it upside down so to cover that I've included some stickers and lots of things in here that we could put you could put over that if if you you know, it bothers you because it does bother me. But I didn't know what to cover it with. I had so many options and I I didn't know what you might like. So I left it as is. But, you know, worst case, leave it out. <laughs> it has a little rose resin piece on it. So I left it where it would stick out the top of the journal and not take up more space in in the bulkiness. More ink paper, ink dyed paper, little pocket with some splatter painted paper for writing, some tickets. It says your worth is not measured by your productivity. Got some dot paper, little digitals that look like general ledger for writing. And then is the center of the first signature. It's just like a weekly calendar, but it, or, you know, days of the week, not really a calendar, but it doesn't have any dates or anything. So you can fill it out how you wish. And I left, of course, like always, I left the strings really long in case you wanted to put beads or something on it. washi tape this folds out has a tag with a cluster at the top that again I left the strings long if you want to put beads on or cut them off just writing space this says the future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams Eleanor Roosevelt and then I just inked it different colors around has a really pretty picture of a quilt, I believe, on the back. Uh, more color paper with writing spots. Ink, you know, different kinds of paper in here. Uh, little music paper clip. And again, I left the ribbon or the lots of thread on this. So if you don't like it, it can always be cut off. And this does fold out. More writing space. Ink dyed paper with a little cluster tab. 
stenciling. This has three pockets. They're little vellum pockets. This tag has some beads on it. This one has fabric tie. All of that one has writing space. This one has this one is part of the master board with some fabric, a fabric. Sorry for shaking the camera. And you can write on the back of it. And these three vellum bags I just stamped with inks. Another fold over page with a postcard and some paper ruffle. Again, I didn't trim it down. This is just a little leaf on a paper clip with some beads. Thought it was cute. And we have another pocket. This one is glued on and just a writing space. Summer is a blast and I did some stenciling, little flip flops and a curly cue. And this side is a flip up writing space which is also a pocket for another large tag. I did put some buttons on this one and writing space on the back. And then I glued the corner that I cut off to this where it looks like it's folded over. I thought that was kind of neat. And I did, <laughs> seems kind of silly, but I did include some of these little cut off pieces in the bag so that if you wanted to, you know, you could even put them on, the corners of the fold downs or anywhere really another cluster pocket with ink dyed and a little um sea turtle stencil and another writing spot with lots of pretty sewing pretty flowers and that is the end of our first signature our segment, 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 <laughs> second signature has same vellum that's been ink dyed. And it's pretty much the same, just different envelope, you know, different, some different ephemera. This is part of the master board. It's a pocket as well. Here's the other writing space. I'll save that picture for you. You can open it up more paper ruffle the corner writing space this is a little notepad that I've sewn on some this is a digital watercolor paper I thought it was pretty this is just writing space lots of writing space a little I don't know what this really even is other than just a pretty thing on a bulb pin. A shiny. Another cluster or writing space. Another different kind of paper clip. Another card. More goodies. This is, um, Again, another cluster that I left long tags on, or long strings. It goes to this Hidden Billy band. And this one actually opens up. The other one didn't, but this one opens up, has flip-flops stamped. I say this is a belly band. It's not a belly band because when I made it, I messed up, glued the whole thing down. So it's... It became a flip-up pocket with goodies in it. So, and a hidden writing space still. And more stenciling. Color paper. This one doesn't have a flip over because when I dyed this paper, it kind of tried to tear on me. So, I didn't have enough to make it flip over. Another writing space with paper ruffle and a pocket. More stenciling, a little heart, looks like a leaf, shaped like a heart. This is the 
I don't know what it's called, but it's, it's rough. I mean, not rough, it's hard, but I didn't attach it or, you know, because like I said in the previous video, this was just a me sampling how to do it to see if I could figure it out. And I thought it turned out kind of pretty. So I went ahead and attached it. But if you, again, you don't want it, feel free to do whatever you want with it. Another ink paper. This pocket is actually sewn on. Has some little vellum pieces and a little writing spot made out of the master board. And the front pocket. And then the back pocket has a writing space. This is the center. Again, I left the strings long. One of the strings got kind of raveled. If you can see that. From all of the pulling it in and out of these pamphlet, you know, the five holes. I still left it because there's two strings here. But again, I've tied a knot. If you don't like it, just you can just cut it. It's not going to come undone. Another pocket, this was came in a Happy Mail, and it's just a little notepad that's been riveted together, and I included some pieces that if you wanted to put a topper on it, you could. Really pretty, I think this is a quilt too, flamingos, folds out, and it has another one of the sound things that you can also write on and this one act has a pocket I forgot to put something in the pocket I need to do that don't I maybe I'll just put a little writing card that won't make it too thick tuck that down in there and I love this little tab it's just a frou-frou but I I like stuff like that poking out of the journal this is just clipped on. It's a paper clip with some goodies tied onto it. This is kind of like when you were in school and made the paper footballs. <laughs> the writing space there. When it's clipped on, it's a pocket. I just put a little piece of master board in there to write on. It has a little heart in it. And then more writing space. And this is the envelope that I stamped. And it just folds down for more writing space. This pocket here has three pockets in it. This one. And then the big one in the back. And this, I don't know, you can tell it, my lighting isn't very good, but there's little sparklies inside this. It's like acetate, it has little sparklies sewn in there. More goodies with a little spiral clip. This is a big writing space on um, digital watercolor paper. Thought it was pretty. Lots of writing space. Another little paper clip with the frou-frou on the top. So we have things sticking out of the top, the side. And if you put beads on the string, be something popping out of the bottom. And this is um, a pocket made out of the master board. It has a really small pocket here. I just put a little tab on it if you wanted to write a little cute note or then this is writing space you are the artist of your life don't give the paintbrush to anyone else and I love that and this has a cutout that's a heart in the tab and this is yeah that's the one it's a little 
honestly, I guess really nothing other than I just loved it. It makes noise, lots of sewing, has a shaker packet on the back with some glittery palm trees and flowers and says sun kissed and dream and I didn't even glue the sides together it's sewn because as I teased before it could be like little you could write little secrets in here anyway I just thought it was a fun piece S sits right in there that's its home very snug and this is the end of our journal and this is a book play um uh, this I this was sent to me in some happy mail this piece of paper back here and I think it was probably painted actually real painted um, and I put some flowers in there and and um, laminated it I did some crazy sewing put a little bow pin with some beads on it Maybe I just don't like laminating. Maybe I'm more of a... I should, though. It makes noise. So that is the end of our journal. And the book plate, just in case... I'm sure you already know this, but... Especially this one. There's so many things in it. When you go to write... Like if you were going to write and this was here... You could put this book plate between your paper and it... And it would give you a smooth place to write where you wouldn't feel this. So that's the purpose of the book plate. I hope you liked it. This bag will come with it as well. And what this is, it may be nothing you even want. But it's a lot of the, you know, leftover offcuts. Um, things that I didn't have room to put in. You know, more ink dyed paper, a little notebook with a pocket in it, just lots of writing space and sewing. Maybe you would want to put it in a different journal or, you know, keep it in your car, or, but it has a button. So it was, I just really didn't need to add any more bulk to this journal. So I left it out, but I wanted to include it with it. And then I just made this little bag to put all the little offcuts and pieces of cord left like this you could put on top of the the one tag I was telling you I didn't well I tied it back together the one tag that I was telling you I didn't put a top on oh this the little notepad you could put something like this on it if you wanted to and you know maybe hang it from your car mirror I don't know. Just an idea. But it's kind of heavier cord, so I didn't want to add it to the book. So there's, you know, little offcuts of that. Some of the materials I used in there. The corner pieces I told you. Just, just tidbits. Little this and that that didn't go in the journal. But, you know, this was one of the things, and these are actually stickers. They look like labels, but they're stickers that I thought maybe could be used to put on the back of the bookmark. You know, you could glue your summer fun back there. That would look good. Or put one of the labels, you know, write something in there. Anything. Anything. And then I also have extra paper ribbon. You know, maybe you'd want to put a piece of the paper ribbon across there. And then I had an extra... Uh, and these are little offcuts that are pretty. They would look, look good back there, too. I think there's a couple of them in here. So even you could tear this one. Um, little notepad that I had made extra. And then... A little bag with some more thread, some little flat beads, some buttons. Um, here's some more lace. Just different things that you might want to use to embellish with. I hope you like this journal. 
If you did, please check it out in my Etsy store. I don't have it up yet. I'm hoping to have it up in the next couple of days, but check it out. Um, if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Oh, here's a little doily too. Me cute. The name of my Etsy store is Crafted by Christy Shop. And um, check it out. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next one. Thanks.